Nice to meet everyone. How's everyone doing? Good? Yeah? <laughs> okay. My absolute pleasure to be here and seeing all your beautiful faces. Um, so what, we uh, what we're going to talk about procrastination is, uh, I believe, one of the most familiar concepts in our daily life, right? And uh, I bet all of you could perhaps come up with uh, a time that you may have procrastinated in doing something. Anyone can maybe give me an example of how you or someone you know may have procrastinated? Anyone feeling brave today? Perfect. <laughs> I totally agree with you. Andrew just said that he procrastinated um, through this speech. I felt the same. It took me days to even get to start. Anyone else? Any other um, young, beautiful face in the audience? You can shout out your answer as well. You guys? You're probably procrastinating thinking about that right now. <laughs> Okay, so, um, well guys, have you ever put off the alarm for another five, 10 minutes? Yes, of course. Have you ever had an assignment that is due in two weeks, but you're gonna have to wait until the very last day to even start? These are procrastinations, right? So, oh, sorry. Well, procrastination could come in the delaying of the initiation of a necessary task, or the perseveration of some aspect of a task. Has anyone ever heard of the joke about running? Yeah? What is the most difficult part about running? Ooh, <laughs> you know the joke, don't say it. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Is it the sweat? Is it the hot weather? Amazing, this is a beautiful answer of someone who is super committed. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but unlike you, some people procrastinate. And these procrastinators would find the most difficult thing about running is actually putting on shoes. <laughs> but actually for me, I think the most difficult part about running is to get off your couch. Right, right, it's comfortable. <laughs> But and then, as soon as you get off your couch, there's another really important thing that you have to do, is to buy the perfect pair of running shoes. And you may again procrastinate for another week, another few months to buy that perfect shoes before you even start. And these are the very simple daily life examples of procrastination. We've all been there, don't worry. Well, so we all know procrastination is not ideal. It's gonna make us perhaps miss a deadline um, a beautiful opportunity to get a scholarship, for example. But internally, procrastinator could even feel despair. They feel regret, and they even feel ashamed of themselves for not completing a task. What causes then, what causes procrastination? Some would argue that it is because of our demanding life. It's a lot of things to do, it's super stressful. While some people, however, thrive off this demand, they thrive off such pressure. So what makes us procrastinators different with these other people? This is what we call the procrastination coat. Let's have a look at them. I must be perfect. Everything I do must go easy and without effort. It's safer to do nothing than to take risk and fail. Following someone else's rules means that I'm losing control. It's dangerous to be successful because something bad will surely happen. Do these look familiar to you? Probably, yes, because these are the common uh, thought patterns shared between us procrastinators. And what are they really? They're just personal perspectives that are not true. They are simply uh, excuses that pave way to procrastinate. And underneath all of them is fear. It's the fear of other people's opinions. It's the fear that you're not good enough. But actually, procrastinators criticize themselves and believe that they are not good enough. You don't even believe in yourself. 
So it all sounds pretty serious, right? Okay, but what can we do? How can we snap out of procrastination? Because we want to be successful. We want to do amazing things in life. I personally was a massive procrastinator myself. I used to be very much afraid of failure. Um, and today I have achieved some of the things that I never thought I would be able to. This list is not really amazing compared to many other people. But it's important to show me that I have come such a long way from who I used to be. And from my own experience, I would like to share three lessons that perhaps could help you too to snap out of procrastination. The first, I believe, success is a journey. So many of us would define success as the accomplishment of a goal, which means you're only successful if you get that scholarship, right? But I believe you're already successful the moment you decide to apply for that scholarship. And then success continues on the moment you sit down to prepare the application, the moment that you hit that submit button to send off your application. Whether or not you get that scholarship, you're already successful. Because every time you do one thing more, you've already gone further than who you were yesterday. And that deserves a pat in the back. So next time, if you sit down and find yourself procrastinating, ask yourself one question. Do I really want to sit and delay doing this? Or do I want to be successful at trying? The next thing, imperfection is beautiful. Our guests today have given amazing talks about this topic already. And I cannot disagree more. I, I cannot agree more. <laughs> I cannot agree more. Um, no one and nothing is perfect. We, we all know that. So therefore, everyone and everything is already perfect the way they are, right? Um, and as soon as you realize that, as soon as you accept that, you allow yourself to love yourself. And with that love, and only with that love, you can feel more comfortable in your own skin and more confident to take up challenges so that you can be a better version of yourself. The last, the world is fascinating. Come on, guys, isn't it? I mean, I'm procrastinate is, procrastination is set to abate as we age. Uh, I remember when I was young, and I think a lot of you would feel the same. We feel like we have all the time in the world to do anything we want at any point we want. Therefore, we're going to wait until the perfect time and we're ready, which might never come. Um, but come on, let's face it, time is limited. We don't have all the time in the world, right? But at the same time, the world's full of options, it's full of opportunities. You can learn a new language, you can read a fascinating book, you can eat a delicious dish, you can meet a new wonderful friend, you can go to stunning destinations. There are so many things to do in such a limited time. As soon as you lock this in, you would like to do things immediately so that you can get to do all of these wonderful things and experience the most of our vast and diverse world. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> so, what is it again? Three things. Success is a journey, imperfection is beautiful, and the world is fascinating. I'm going to leave you with a final remark. You create your own limits. Well, at some point in our life, everything seems difficult. I know and I agree, we've all been there. But procrastination will take you absolutely nowhere. You can only make a difference if you get out there and be a part. And only by doing that, we together could change the world to a better place. Thank you.